Well, um, I made it half a decade with no IV antibiotics. Mm. And that streak is now ending. I haven't done this in so long. I don't even know what I'm gonna say. Oh man, good morning, you guys. <laughs> I literally haven't said that in so long. Good to see you. Hey guys, guess what? We're still here. <gasps> it's early. We are actually heading to the hospital today. And I just have like a normal cystic fibrosis clinic day. But I was feeling a little extra anxious about it. So Peter's going to come with me. And so kiddos are spending time with friends. Peter and I are going to head to the hospital. And I was like, you know what? Let's vlog. <laughs> we haven't done that in so long. And we were just so, uh, we have the, the practice of vlogging at the hospital. That we know what to do. We know how to do that. So let's do that. So the kids aren't even up yet. And I'm drinking coffee. I just took my medicines. Let's do this. Come with us. Do you want to come? Come on. Let's go. I, I already started, memories? yes, I already started the vlog. Okay. Um, it, of course, our phone gave us one of the songs we listened to five years ago. Oh, that's five crazy. years ago. Oh, it's almost like, I mean, we're coming close to May. Yeah, May yeah. will be five years since we first came to Durham for the transplant evaluation. And whoa, our life looks so different than it used to. Wow. 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 It looks very different. In the most beautiful ways. <laughs> and life was beautiful then. And life is beautiful now. In very different ways. And I don't wish to go back to the old beautiful way. Mm. But we are going so, to CF Clinic. Yes, we are. Probably already told them that. And I was sick a few <laughs> weeks ago. Peter has allergies, it's pollen season. So I don't know what effect pollen has on me. I don't have like direct, like, you know, Peter coughs incessantly. Like, I don't have that. Um, <laughs> but wait, what did you just say? I have coughing incessantly wait, from a different reason. No, but like, I, it is kind of crazy that <laughs> sometimes my allergies make me cough more than you. Yeah, it is weird. That's uh, our new season of life. Yes. Um. So anyway, I was sick a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. started oral antibiotics, <laughs> and I'm almost done them, and they are working. I'm not 100% back to normal, but... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah. Anyway, we'll see. You're so, not 100% back to normal, so does that I give you a little, little bit of uneasiness about this morning? But I, I guess, yeah, it's gonna be fine. It makes sense that you feel uneasiness about this morning. Cause like, I'd say by and large in the last four years, whenever we've gone in CF clinic, it's kind of like, I don't know. There've been a few times. I'm guessing what I'm saying is there haven't been very many sick visits to CF clinic. Mm -mm. So <sighs> this is a not normal feeling. Yeah. Um, I'm just, it's some, I saw somebody bringing a mattress in 1000 pad feet. Yeah. into the hospital. That brings back some memories. That is pro tip right there. Hack number one, mm -hmm. getting through hospital life. Bring like a two or three inch memory right. foam right mattress to topper. <laughs> like there were a couple times that Mary's in the hospital. We went out and bought another one. Wasn't there like a Target right down the street? <laughs> yeah. I feel like you walked down there a couple times. Yep. In 800 but, feet, turn right onto Duke Medicine ooh. Circle. So anyway, yeah, I do, I still get the like clinic nerves, but this time felt a little bit different, I guess, because I'm still actively trying to treat with these antibiotics and mm -hmm. yeah, I guess it's ultimately it's fear of, okay, well, what if these antibiotics don't work? You know, like that sort of thing. 
but we're gonna take it one step at a time. <laughs> let's go in there. I am feeling good. And let's do this. Let's is that the parking lot? Do it. Lot? It right is, there. but there's two lanes. So oh, okay, perfect. Okay, cool. Been around the block here for five years now. Yep. I feel like we always do a shot of us walking in the hallway. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> shot of our feet. So here's your token holding hands, walking in the hallway, hospital date day. I mean, if we're gonna do classic shots, I'm gonna stick you guys in this plant right here. We're gonna slow dance in the hallway. I thought you were gonna say, your classic line of who takes care of the plants in the hospital. <laughs> we're doing a we're just slow dance. Oh, I thought we were walking past it. You know, sometimes we do the walk past the, the camera. Walk past. Yeah. We all walk past. Okay. Okay, they're slow okay. dancing. Okay. 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 Are we doing the windowsill shot? But this is really wild because okay. we sat in this windowsill with all the unknowns. Mm -hmm all the unknowns and if you had told me five years ago when i was sitting in this windowsill what our life would be like mm. i i would i would struggle to believe you i would really struggle oh yeah I, and, uh, that's for sure i mean even saying that we wouldn't be vlogging every day i'd be like we're always yeah, gonna right. do that yeah for sure <laughs> How many months has it been? <laughs> My it's been bad. A, it's been a minute. Uh, but anyway. Wow. All right, we're all, all checked in, getting ready to go back and do PFTs, and then do clinic. I think it's it, it is kind of wild because it, it, in some ways it feels like a lifetime ago because life is so different. But then you say it like less than five years ago we were sitting here, yep. like thinking about pretty intense things mm -hmm. and yep. yeah it's wild crazy well i'm glad to be here with you mm -hmm. i was just saying when we were walking in from the parking garage i was like i've been wanting some alone time with you classic <laughs> classic hospital day not exactly what i had envisioned but i'll take it all i can say is nice people are nice i knew you were gonna say that Oh, the person goodness. who just checked me in is like, <laughs> it's so nice and it's so helpful. So thank you. Big breath. <gasps> keep going, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. You're doing great. Keep blowing, keep going. Blow, blow, blow. Push, 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 push. You can breathe. Well, um, I made it half a decade with no IV antibiotics. And that streak is now ending, mm -hmm. which lots of thoughts. My lung function went down a few percent, um, but it, it's more of like a big picture decline over the last year or so, like little bits. All right, back in the car, all sorts of feelings. Yeah, so my, my lung function is down a little bit. It, it, part of us doesn't feel <coughs> concerned because I've had, you know, these times in the past couple of years or really five years <laughs> where, or, you know, think back to like four years ago when we got really, really sick. It was at the very start of the pandemic. And I always say like, I was so sick that I would have been in the hospital had it not been pandemic times. Um, I remember hooking back up to my feeding tube just to get fluids in me and like it was a whole thing and even with that I just did oral <laughs> antibiotics and my lungs rebounded obviously that was four years ago now and I've been doing great so anyway it's just where we're at right now is like proceed to the root let's we we don't want to let my lungs get super sick and so thankfully I'm at a place where I'm doing well like i'm feeling pretty good the last couple weeks i have been feeling not as good <laughs> but i was sick and now i've been on antibiotics so even being on antibiotics makes you not feel great but anyway i do feel at peace with the decision and thankful for a thoughtful care team that means a lot to me and i'm very thankful for that so we will take it one step at a time. What will my body be like on IVs half a decade later? I do not know. 
I am so curious if my body's gonna handle it like a champ or if it's gonna hit me even harder than it used to. At the light, use the left two lanes to turn onto Irwin Road. Only time will tell. I mean, it is crazy that... Oh, wow. All right. Five more parking passes for the parking garage. Um, okay. Um, it's crazy, like, I guess if you didn't follow our journey before five years ago. Yeah. Uh, like, the yeah. longest stretch without IVs would have been five weeks. Yeah. I mean, I, something that, like that. That's probably a few, a I month mean, or two. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe 10 weeks, but we went five years. And so it is like it's a crazy. whole new ball game. Like, we yeah. don't know what to expect in right. terms of how Mary's body and Turn how left. the bacteria will. What will the bacteria think? Respond and all those things. But as much as I'm like, ah, um, if you would have told me five years ago, <laughs> You are going to go on this new medication. You're going to be living your life. You'll have to do IVs, though. Once a decade or twice a decade. I'd be like, no problem. In one and a half that miles, would be miraculous. Right Sign me up. So I do have to just yeah. take... It's like, it's fine that it's disappointing or like scary even. Having not been on them for so long. Like, what is my body going to do? But ultimately, I just have to look at the facts of like, I'm just so thankful. Mm -hmm. And maybe, maybe I'm gonna feel amazing. Uh, the reality is we're preparing ourselves for the fact that I'm gonna feel terrible. What, uh, Mary's also going on one of the IVs of Ceftazidine, which has historically been kind of nasty on her body. So is there a better option? We I, talked through this, I, but like... I mean, so we talked through it and it seems that that is the best option. So it's kind of okay. like, given that, maybe we give it a shot. Yeah. And, and we felt on board with that. Yeah, and ultimately, I just kept saying, I, I can only go off of what my <laughs> old body, my five years ago body, yeah. was doing. Mm -hmm. And... It's such a different, such a different scenario now. And so it could be a whole lot easier or it could be a whole lot harder. And I do, I am just like preliminarily giving myself grace that if it knocks me off my feet even worse than it used to, that is okay because my body isn't used to these big antibiotics. Um, Oof, but like sitting in that clinic room with that looming feeling of like, what are we about to decide? Like, mm. am I going to have to go in the hospital or not? I've never been inpatient since we've moved to Durham. <laughs> it it's crazy. crazy. And I thankfully don't need to be inpatient for this. I've got my port and um, the home care company will send the medication. And anyway, yeah. there's so much to be thankful for even like starting off we used to have to do ivs because i was coughing so much and like drowning in mucus and it's just not the case for this decision for this time i am coughing more and i do have more mucus but it's not this like desperate horrible situation i'm in mm. it's like in wisdom we're looking at the last year and we want to make sure that we prevent further decline, even though it's just a few percent down right now, maybe over the year it's been down, I don't know, eight or 10% or something like that. But um, yeah, we don't want to let it get worse. We certainly don't want to ignore it. So um, yeah, I feel good about it. We both feel good about it. Uh, we'll just take it one day at a time as far as the reactions go. And thankfully my doctor, of course, has never seen me on IV antibiotics because uh, I've never been on them here. And he was asking, you know, what does your body do? How do you address the um, headaches or the pain? At the next light, turn right. 
or the fevers or whatever it is that the body does and and yeah just be getting on board with how to address the issues when they if if and when they come up of course we talked about nupogen if Again, if you're new around here, this is all new, but uh, if you've been around the block with us, my body has weird reactions. At the light, turn right onto Cameron Boulevard. Including, we're on our way to go pick up our kids. <laughs> so um, I figure we vlog now while we can. And um, my my bone marrow, I have bone marrow suppression at baseline mile, turn and to merge onto US worse now. when I'm on antibiotics. Hopefully, this blood work we just did will be totally stable. That would be great. It's possible I have some suppression because I've been on these orals the last two weeks or 10 days, whatever it's been. Um, we'll just take it as it comes. Thankfully, Nupogen has worked really well for me in the past. And I don't get the like bone pain that some people get. So it is a very good option thankfully a pretty easy option actually so anyway all the things it's a lot and yet <laughs> it's fine yeah we're gonna be fine it is so. interesting sitting in there and when it was clear the conversation was going to ids how quickly it was like okay like let me orient myself back into this world like right. We're talking about different antibiotics and I'm like going through notes in my phone about yeah. different antibiotics. <laughs> because we, like, it's been so long we don't remember. Yeah. I, I mean, of course I recognize all of these. Here, do you want water? Um, I recognize all the names of the antibiotics, but I don't remember what happened with this one or that one. Except a few of them. Anyway, we'll see what happens. I'll try to I'll try to keep you guys updated. I mean, I know that you guys have been here for the long haul um, with my health, and I just like have not had anything to vlog lately, health related. And our life is so beautifully full of children and all the fun that comes with having kids and the. Um, the excitement and the monotonous moments and all of the in-between and that's just not something that we're vlogging and there's a lot about our life that we can't vlog and we're totally okay with that but that just means that vlogging looks so very different in this chapter of our life but my health is what a lot of you guys were here for which I appreciate thank you and also I know that you guys are just like little medical nerds and want to hear all the details so my health is something I can share about and uh, I'll try to pick up the camera throughout the next couple of weeks as we figure out how to do IVs again I wonder if we'll remember I'm pretty sure it's like riding a bike alcohol saline of course we still do I mean, my done, port stuff. yeah port stuff is we, we still do that every couple weeks Every uh, four weeks, I have my IVIG. And then every three months, I have um, the migraine preventative. So there are things in place that make this time of IVs different. Like I have migraine prevention and abortive, uh, migraine abortive medications as well. So maybe if my body responds to IVs with migraines, maybe I can actually address them with my medications. So maybe things are just gonna be like smooth sailing. I can just like hear the editing process where like you take that that clip in a few weeks. Maybe it'll be smooth sailing. It'll be like Clips wicky, wicky, vomiting. vomiting everywhere. Oh, <laughs> man. We are together, we're doing this, and I did not expect this, but yeah. I was really fighting like totally losing it in there emotionally. Mm -hmm. I feel okay right now. I feel more like we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. But I, I basically have to tell myself we're gonna do this. It's gonna be okay mm -hmm. because if I don't, I'm probably just gonna sit here and cry. So mm -hmm. honestly, that'll probably happen too. I think one of the really cool thing is I was already planning to take a vacation week next week, and it's kind of like, well, that worked out because seriously. Um, yeah, it's just That's been crazy. an intense 
few weeks of yeah. church stuff, and so it'll be in, like, it won't be a vacation per se, but it's good timing. Yeah, it's really good timing. All right, talk to you guys soon. Small update, we're home now, babies are asleep, and emotions are starting to hit, so take it. Take it as it comes. Hang in there, guys. I think I'm talking to myself. <clears throat>